Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri, or I should say Farm Girl Siri, and we are here at the little homestead, so our little farm at the future Meadow of Horses! And right now it is time for another side quest! So today is going to be a quick little zoo kitchen episode. We actually don't really have a kitchen yet, um, to be completely honest. We have a campfire, which is really cool, and Zoe, I guess because... Is Zoe like an older dog, I guess? Because she's... Oh, Zoe, Zoe, you're so cute. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I gotta give that little... Mm, I gotta give you a little kiss on the nose because she's so cute. But Zoe really just seems to love sitting around the campfire. She is always by it. It's adorable. But yeah, so there's not much food left here on the farm. And even though we don't have much of a uh, kitchen, like I have this chest with some random food I sort of threw in here. And then we've got the new little root cellar that I built. And it's got like this cute little area where we can keep all our food nice and like at the right temperature because when you have these root cellars when the food is kind of hidden underground like this it keeps it at a good temperature and keeps things from spoiling these are really really common in farms out in uh, the American Midwest uh, the old style farms at least I even know people who have root cellars today so I don't know if that's a big thing in other countries because I hear that basements aren't really a big thing in other countries but we have our own little root cellar however there's not really any food yet we've been kind of collecting a few things but it's just sort of like I have I have a couple pineapple that I sort of yanked up from the ground a while ago. You know, I've got a little bit of bamboo shoots, but there's not really food. I've got some very cold, nasty french fries that I'm going to finish off. Oh, gross. <laughs> from a few zoo kitchens ago. And I figured today would be a good day to see what the wild bounty of the land has to offer us. So I brought out the drying rack, which I actually brought from home. This is the drying rack that Ben gave us a long, long time ago, and we haven't used it yet. And I really want to figure out, like, what happens when you put food on the drying rack? And I'm wondering, like, if we take these grapes, if we put the grapes on the drying rack, will something happen? Ah, so we can't put these grapes on the drying rack. What about if we put... Um, I think that's a maple. What if we put, can I put this eggplant on the drying rack? Will that work? I think because this is a maple. No, because this is like a maple thingy doodle, which means it needs like the square stuff. So what about, what about these? These uh, little eggplants right here. Ooh, we've got a lot of little eggplants now. I'm just going to casually go ahead and plant some more eggplant seeds. Don't mind me. So what about this eggplant? Can we like put these eggplants on here and will that work? Oh, you're supposed to put stuff down there. Oh, whoops a daisy. Well, there we go. And then I've heard that you have to leave them like on the drying rack for a long time. So we're going to leave the eggplants and this little, um, Grape, the little set of grape. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are! They just sit there! Oh, do we have fish? I'm sure you could probably dry the fish. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of the fish that the dogs gave us from uh, the doggy side quest we just did. <gasps> look at that! Oh my goodness! I wonder! Because, like, drying rack uses. So you can put, like, meat on there to make cooked meat. Ice crystal? What the heck is a freaking ice crystal? What, what the doodle do? Okay, potatoes would turn into baked potatoes. Um, logs would turn into charcoal. Oh, and you can put like the raw fish and it'll turn into cooked fish there. What? And clams will turn into cooked clams. <gasps> That's so interesting. Well, we're going to have to leave the little drying rack running. But I was thinking today would actually be a really good day to take Primrose and Bluebell, who so many of you guys have said you want Darling and I to adopt. <gasps> you didn't hear that, Primrose. You didn't hear that. Oh my goodness. Just the idea. Okay. She's like, okay, I didn't hear anything. Oh, just the idea of adopting the little maids and bringing them under my wings. I mean, oh, I, it would be the first time I would have a daughter because I have JJ and Junior and, you know, all of my villagers, but they're mostly boys and... Oh, the thoughts, the thoughts. Oh, I'm, I'm like blushing with excitement. That would be so fun. Get them little outfits. Oh, Bluebell, I would give you all the sheep you wanted. But today I was thinking we'll take Primrose and Bluebell out and go foraging for food. Kind of like this, because there's here's some food. Here's some food right here. There's a gourd garden right here, so we can put that over by our other garden. But I thought we would take them out foraging for food and maybe teach them like what is good food and what is, um, you know, like... What's good food to eat? What are the poisonous mushrooms? What not to eat? So I think that'll be fun. But I'm gonna let Bluebell go ahead and shear her sheep first. All right, Ash, you know what to do. Come on, buddy, you need to go around and pick up all of the, the wool. Look at her, she's so happy. Isn't that the cutest thing when she shears the sheep? Oh, I love it. She's just like dun 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 dun. Go, Bluebell, you've got this. Woohoo! Ash, you need to start moving around a little bit. Come on. Move your paws. Who's a good boy? Okay. Okay, go help. Go help. 
Go on, Ash. Go pick up. Look, there's some wool over there. Okay, he's kind of moving around now. Being a silly boy. Alright, so is she all done? Did, there's, there's some stray wool over here. She's getting a little bit better about picking up the stray wool, it seems. Okay, where'd you go? Alright, Bluebell. I know, you're so cute. Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and remove her shears. And now I need to give her sugar until she'll become... Okay, there we go. There's that. And are you just like an escort her now? Okay, and then I think we have to keep giving her sugar, which makes me nervous to use up the sugar. Escort her. Uh, that should be okay. So we just want her to kind of like escort us and come with us. So come along, Bluebell. Come along. I'm going to have you go ahead and Primrose, you too. You're set to torture right now. Um... And I want you just to be like feeling calm and like you can relax, but actually I don't think that would work. Okay, you can just stay a torture because even if I tried to set her to something else, she's got so many torches right now. I don't think it would change anything. Bluebell, do you need some help getting over the fence, darling? Okay, hang on one second. I'm going to try to get you and not the pig. All right. All right. So ladies, ladies, look at me. Girls. Hello. All right. Oh, oh hi -oh. Guys. Okay. Well, I'm sure. Come on, come on. Okay, we are going to go. Okay, Primrose. Okay, come on, come on, Primrose. I know it's been a while. Okay, come on. All right. Oh, I know. I look at your attention. Oh, there we go. All right, ladies. We are going to go foraging for food real quickly. We are going to see what wild bounties these this land around us has to offer. We're going to see if it's good for us, and we're going to see if it's bad for us. And I will tell you guys if it's bad, because you guys don't want to go and, like, eat poisonous plants. I'm pretty sure there's... See, there's some, like, questionable mushrooms over there. I don't want you eating questionable mushrooms. So I'll try to teach you the difference. And we'll just kind of see what there is to, to gather up. So maybe we'll have something to cook and put on a little drying rack. Because that thing is uh, freaking adorable. I like it. Alright, and I'm actually going to have Iris and Zoe follow us. Because they're right here at hand. And let's go just look for food. You guys ready? Oh, there we go. Where are you trying to go, Primrose? You want to go this way? Okay, well, we can go this way first. Alright, so we are forging for goods, and there are some mushrooms over there. I guess we could just go ahead and start with, like, the big things, which are mushrooms. Oh, and there's a leafy stock garden. Alright, girls. So let's go ahead and break this open. Um, I'm pretty sure that one of the dogs got everything. Now this mushroom, it, okay, where's, okay, Iris? Okay. Um, already we're having a little bit, a little bit of a family cluster issue. Um, Bluebell, was your, oh, there's your sister. All right, so ladies, look at me. This mushroom right here. Okay, I really, okay, let's try again. <laughs> look what I have. Yeah, now I've got your attention. Okay, see this? No, you need to be just as, okay, Mr. Pig. <gasps> no, Mr. Pig, how could you? You shoved Primrose. You're so rude, Mr. Pig. Primrose, are you okay, sweetie? Okay, let's get you out of there. You don't need to be in that water. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try this again. All right, here's the sugar. Sugar is good. See a mushroom? This mushroom looks like it could be questionable and dangerous, but it is not. It is actually safe for you to eat, and you can turn it into lots of yummy things, like minced mushrooms, or a red mushroom box, or veggie stir fries, or like chicken stir fries, or mushroom risotto, which would be really, really yummy, or stuffed mushrooms. For the record, your mom loves mushrooms. All right. Well, I already referred to my, yourself, myself as your mom, so I'm getting a little ahead of myself there. All right, so let's see what's in the leafy, leafy garden here. Ooh, cabbage and lettuce. This will actually be great to add to our garden so we can start to have a supply of this. All right. That's right. Okay, ladies. Okay, so there's some goats over there. And normally, I would leave goats alone. Um, and actually, I don't think they're even worth trying to... Trying to get the milk from. In fact, those are two boy goats, so that's not even going to work. Ah, some wild herbs. Come this way, ladies. Yes, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Okay. So here are some wild herbs. And what do we have here? Some spice leaves. And Bluebell, did you pick something up? <gasps> some tea leaves. Wonderful. Good job. All right. So spice leaves, tea leaves. Those are all things we can use. Coffee beans. We can make a little bit of... Iris! What happened? Oh my goodness. You need some cooked chicken, like, ASAP. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, getting... Okay. Oh, my gosh. Even just a casual family outing like this. All right. Well, we have some mustard seeds, and I can teach you girls how to make this into mustard later, which you can use in all sorts of things. Because once you have the little mustard, you can make spicy greens, which would be good for you. Honey lemon lamb. Spicy mushroom pork. 
Uh, you know, it sounds good. Oh, and then, of course, Darling's favorite, soft pretzels and mushrooms. Oh, I would love to be able to make that. That sounds like really fun fair food. Maybe we should have a fair at the zoo one day, like a little festival. That would be very fun. All right. Oh, there's some mushrooms. Can I climb up here? No, I cannot. Darn it. I can't climb up there, but there's some mushrooms in the area, so we'll remember that. Here's another little wild, wild garden. Okay, there's some spinach and scallions. Oh, don't sigh. We've barely started, Bluebell. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. All right, let's see. What's over here? There's some Geishal greens. Uh, we might have better luck if we actually work our way back over to the open fields. Um, anything over here? Just the metals? Okay. No food over here, my dear. All right, where's your sister? Where on earth is Primrose going this whole time? I feel like... Primrose! Ah, uh, I feel like this is just turning into into quite the adventure. Primrose? Oh, there you are, Primrose. Okay, goodness. All right, well, let's go back this way anyway. Because you guys, you guys are just making me worry. All right, we'll go into a safer area. Here we go. Nice big open meadow fields. I'm sure that there's something. Uh, let's go into that little forest over there. Let's go see if we can forge for some food over there. And thankfully, it looks like the sugar cane that I put down is growing for you guys. Which is good, because I don't think... We didn't find as many honeybees as I, I assumed we would today to be able to feed you. Okay, that's going to make them happy. So I've got a little bit more sugar for them. Alright, and they're just kind of talking to themselves. Ah, here we go, ladies! Now this is more like it. When you find these big giant leafy stock gardens, then what you can do is we can open them up, so dig them up, and there should be lots of yummy yummy things hiding inside of them. And we want to leave some for nature, so that can replenish this area with more delicious stock gardens in the future. But it looks like we got some tomatoes, an eggplant, and a yummy bell pepper, so that was definitely a good score. Hey Zuzu! And then let's see if there's some other... Look at all the pretty flowers! Man, I would love to just get so many of these flowers constantly growing. Oh, that would be so fun. Well, let's see if we can find some other wild foods. Oh, like right over here. Okay, so you guys remember what I was telling you about the yummy mushrooms? This is potentially a yummy mushroom too. And, um... You have to be gentle with the yummy mushroom, ladies. So, really, if you're going to collect- Aha! Good, thank goodness there's more. I felt so bad. If you're going to collect these yummy mushrooms, like Zoe has sniffed them out. Okay, you guys you guys paying attention? I know I'll make you pay attention. Here you go. Ah, you're just like little kids, aren't you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you really are just like little kids. Okay, so to go ahead and collect these yummy mushrooms, you have to use a little set of shears, okay? And then you can turn to these delicious toadstools, either into shroom powder, which does absolutely nothing, so don't bother. Or you can turn it into shroom salad if you also have some portobello, which actually I think grows somewhere near the Asian forest part of our zoo. Or if you've got some blue milk caps. And actually, I don't know if I have anywhere that grows blue milk caps very well lately. Ah, but here's a good find, my loves. We've got some wild nutmeg just hanging in these trees, so we can collect these. Um, to be honest, I'm not really finding anything we can make, like, a good meal out of. But at least we're finding some spices and additions. Um, let's see, yeah, there's a lot of- ooh, some gourd gardens. Okay, so let's try cracking this open. Alright, so there's some pumpkins and cucumber. So there's things to kind of start more of a garden with, but I'm not really finding anything- Oh, more gourd gardens, good! Hello? Oh, there we go! Oh my goodness, that's so much cantaloupe! So much cantaloupe, and apparently Zoe just picked up the summer squash. So, we could have cantaloupe at least. Oh, I could probably make some cantaloupe juice at least. Oh, what a relief. Oh my goodness, so many more. Oh my goodness. Here we go, we've hit the jackpot, girls. Okay, let me go ahead. I'm going to put these away really quickly. Let's see. Zozo. Zoe. Zoe. There you are, Zoe. There you go. Have a little bit of chicken. We have hit the jackpot, ladies. All right, so here we have the wild gourd gardens, and then we've got the little foraging, like, stock gardens right over here, the leafy gardens, <gasps> and an appetite, but that's not something you eat. That's something that's just very pretty that makes me super happy. All right, so let's go ahead and harvest up. Ooh, some broccoli! That'll be a good thing to add. Broccoli's nice and healthy. I'm sure we'll be able to make some sort of food out of these things. All right, so just a little bit of foraging, and then gather up a little bit of this stuff. Um, do I need- Oh, Zoe, good job, Zozo! You're so friendly! And remember, girls, you want to leave some behind for nature, like that fox, who I'm sure appreciates our efforts of not disrupting his little home. Alright, now the puff mushrooms, these mushrooms, ladies, if the dog would let me collect them. Did I get them? Okay, quick, 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 faster than my dog, faster than my dog! 
Oh, darn. Okay. Well, somebody else got those mushrooms, but I was going to tell you guys. Primrose, do you have them? Nope. Bluebell? Yes. Okay. So, you see this, you you see this, you two? You can't eat this mushroom. Well, actually, apparently you can. Don't listen to mom, but always check with an expert before eating mushrooms. Okay? Okay. All right. And then let me go ahead and put these away. And last things that we have to do, our last thing that we're going to do over here, it looks like, is come over and harvest more of these wild apples. There we go. Oh, and there's a little gourd garden over here. Do we want to gather this one up? There's two, so we'll gather this one up too. And what can I do with a winter squash? I can make a mixed salad. <laughs> or I can make garden soup. Um, so there's not a lot. Not a lot. Okay, Bluebell, apparently you're having fun. All right. Well, let's head back over to the house, and we'll check on our little drying rack. But otherwise, I don't think there's much for us to do. There really, there really isn't. But at least we managed to collect some things. We've seen that this side is definitely full of more edible foods compared to the swamp side. Um, which is probably why there's goats over here trying to steal my bounty. And then we're going to jump over here. There we go. Got lots of puppies. Oh, the girls are giggling. That's so fun. And it's just, ah, oh, it's so nice to see. We've already got so many apples and so many other, like, foods that are starting to grow over here. And we'll check on our little drying rack. How's it doing? It's doing good! I think the drying rack takes some time to work. So I guess we're just going to have to leave everything in here and see what happens. So we'll go ahead and we will leave stuff there, see what happens. And do I have anything I could make into food for myself? Did I find anything that could be good food? Oh, well, we do have those peaches, and we do have the cantaloupe. Um, and I don't think we really have any other food, just like peaches and cantaloupe. So, it looks like at the end of the day, foraging for food in the wild was a lot trickier than I thought it would be, ladies. And you can each have some sugar. How about that? Yep. There you go. I thought you would enjoy some sugar. And then I'm going to go ahead, and we're just going to juice up these peaches. There we go. We're going to make some peach juice. And you can't even make cantaloupe juice. What do I know? I'm trying to make cantaloupe juice. Can't even make cantaloupe juice. So at least we have a little bit of food to try to see mom through the next couple days. So, oh, and actually I should see what you guys collected. So we've got some okra. And then we've got some chili peppers. So thank you both so much for helping me with uh, foraging for food today. And I will let them go ahead and relax back in the pen and back up there with Darling, who's still bird watching because he's really, really into those owls. And we found a whole bunch of stuff, but once again, <laughs> we didn't really get anything that I can turn into food just yet. So the difficulty of living out on like the open, open wilderness and trying to farm on our own uh, it's definitely getting to us, so I'm gonna have to get some more food. But I'm pretty sure the drying rack should do something fun, so we'll keep an eye on that. And then in the morning, we are going to be working on separating out the horses and actually gathering the ingredients to make mushroom stew, or getting the pumpkins planted, or getting the cakes made, so we can breed the horses, which is gonna be so fun! And we're also going to move all of the other horses, and like the pigus, and maybe look for some cows, and put them into the big field. So that's gonna be our project for tomorrow, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye!